Hey everybody, it's Carpo, and I just wanted to share this analogy I just heard, um, because I'll probably forget it tomorrow, and I pack so much knowledge into my brain every day that, you know, most of it floods out, so I keep a journal and I write down everything that's in inspiring, or when I'm in the middle of watching something, I'll, like, document exactly the time, or when I'm listening to, like, lectures from certain people, document the time when something really inspiring popped up, and I'll make a collection later in life of things that, you know, I can go back and listen to the things that were important, but, uh, Somebody just said, it was Manly P. Hall, actually. Um, in a nutshell, he was comparing life um, to floating in an ocean, to being stranded at sea. And I, he said, you know, most people know, an experienced, you know, uh, an experienced mariner knows that, you know, if you fall off the boat, you don't fight the current, you don't sit there and struggle, you don't thrash around. Now, if a person just floats calmly around and they keep themselves afloat, and they use the knowledge that they have, they can perhaps float up onto a shore or get rescued, but the person who panics and starts flailing is sure to drown. And that was in comparison to being in the ocean of life and, you know, using your knowledge and just staying afloat is a lot easier than trying to fight against the system. And if you flail in society, you will surely drown. Uh, I see very few angry people in life who make it into their older years without either becoming completely isolated or banished from society or re neglecting or re uh, regretting the things that they had, you know, their behaviors in the past. And I just wanted to share that little analogy because when you're fighting against the current, it's going to make you an angry person and you'll tend to place blame on others. And we all know that the ultimate blame is only on ourselves. The things that we do in our lives are completely our own. Holding aggressions against people, whether it be our family or friends or things that have been done to us in the past, will never, it will never it will never uh, <laughs> it will always fail okay uh, we can never blame our parents for the way that we are nor more that we can blame people who uh, who have wronged us in the past if we're not willing to forgive and forget so float with the currents and they will take you where you need to go but don't forget that there is the knowledge of how to float and how to tread water and you have to develop the knowledge of how to tread water successfully. There's a certain amount of energy you have to put out in order to get the results that you want. Just realize that that amount of energy is different for everybody. And what that energy is, or what that you have to put out, is different for everyone too. No two people are the same. No two people have the same mission in this world. And whatever treading water may be to you, tread on, my friends.